Hey there, welcome to part zero of graph theory with Python. I'm David Amos and I am a Python programmer, uh, a, a recovering mathematician and an all around nerd. I love space and science and Lego. And I wanted to put together a YouTube series of videos looking at one of my favorite topics in mathematics called graph theory, which is something I studied a lot as an undergraduate and also while I was in graduate school. But I wanted to do it from a little bit of different perspective. When, when I was an undergrad, I studied uh, mathematics as my major and I minored in computer science. And uh, I've been programming uh, since, well, I say I was programming since I was a little kid. I got into uh, QBasic for a little bit uh, back in the early 90s and uh, attempted to teach myself C++ as like a 12 year old that it did not go well. I uh, kind of picked up programming again a little bit in high school uh, with some web stuff, you know, learning JavaScript and things like that. But it wasn't until uh, college that I really got serious about programming and studying computer science and those things. And I was really fascinated with the intersection of uh, mathematics and computer science, or really, I guess, seeing computer science as like a subset, as like a, or as applied mathematics, really. I used programming a lot when I was doing math research as an undergrad, and then uh, also in graduate school. One of the things that uh, surprised me when I got to graduate school was how few of my colleagues were either not using programming at all or were stuck using things like MATLAB and just not enjoying it. And I saw that as uh, unfortunate because I think coding is a tool that can be of immense value in mathematical research. So my goal with this series is to teach graph theory or an introduction to graph theory from the perspective of using Python to aid in understanding what graphs are, how graph algorithms work, and investigating properties of graphs like a researcher would. I want to give a little bit of an introduction to what we're going to be talking about and some of the Python that's going to be needed in order to follow along with the series. So let's talk real quick about what we mean by a graph. Now, this is a graph of a function. This is not what we're talking about. We're talking about a different kind of graph, these kinds of graphs. These are collections of uh, vertices, which here are represented by the uh, blue dots, and edges, which are the black lines that connect the dots. My wife used to make fun of me a lot when I was in graduate school. She looked at this and she said, what, what are you doing? You're studying these dots and lines? Like our, our two-year-old daughter could do these things. What, what is going on here? Uh, but in, in reality, graphs are actually a very deep and really beautiful area of mathematics that, uh, uh, that I think a lot of people will enjoy. Here's what you're going to learn. We're going to talk about how graph theory got started. We're going to talk about what graphs are and how you can represent them in Python. Uh, we'll learn how to investigate graph theoretical problems with Python, including things like matchings and factors, connectivity, graph colorings, planarity, uh, in random graphs. So if you don't know what any of this is, that's absolutely fine. We're going to talk about all of this during this video series. And I'm not going to assume any mathematics knowledge above first year college. Uh, like maybe you've seen some, uh, some college algebra or something like that. Now there are some Python concepts that you're going to need to know in order to follow along. And uh, that is not going to be part of this series. So some of the things you need to be familiar with variables and built in data types, uh, loops in conditional logic, uh, functions in recursion, and built in data structures, uh, things like strings, integers, uh, floats, those are really more like data types, uh, lists, tuples, dictionaries, including their comprehensions, uh, possibly some data structures from the collections module, and generators and generator expressions. If you'd like to follow along with the series, and there's some things on this list that you don't recognize, what you can do is you can check out realpython.com. Now, disclaimer, I do work for RealPython at my full-time job, but RealPython is a fantastic resource for Python tutorials. And it's got all the stuff that you need to learn, uh, all the topics that we've, uh, that are, that you're going to use in this graph theory series. And one of the ways that you can do that is by going to the learn Python and the learning paths tab and go to the introduction to Python learning path. Now this is a free resource. So anyone can access this and read through the tutorials in this uh, introduction to Python learning path. Uh, if you're a member, you can also watch uh, video courses on uh, a lot of these topics as well. 
So this is where you can go to uh, get some of the background in Python if you need to refresh uh, some of the concepts. So there you go. That's what you're going to learn. And that's the Python background you need to have in order to successfully follow along with the series. If this looks interesting to you at all, I really hope you'll join me in this investigation of how to do graph theory with Python. And the best way to do that is to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you get a notification whenever a new video comes out. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video.